Welcome to chapter 7 on linear combinations, spans, and independence. In this video we're going to start section 7.1 on linear combinations and in particular the goal of this section is to introduce linear combinations and then to use a linear system to determine whether or not a vector may be expressed as a linear combination of other vectors. So let's go and get started with subsection 7.1.1, the algebra of linear combinations, and we'll start with this definition. A linear combination of vectors v1, v2, up to vk in Rn is any sum of the form a1 times v1 plus a2 times v2 all the way up to ak times vk, where the ai's are coefficients and they are just real numbers. So our linear combination is nothing but scalar multiplication of vectors and addition of vectors. Number two says if a vector w, for a vector w there are real numbers c1 through ck such that w can be expressed as c1 times v1 plus all the way up to ck times vk. Then we say that w may be expressed as a linear combination of the vectors v1 through vk. Sometimes we say a little bit more directly that w simply is a linear combination of these vectors. To go and look next at example 7.1.1 we're asked to express this vector 2 minus 5, 4 as a linear combination of the standard unit vectors i hat, j hat, and k hat. So let's just take a moment and remember from our unit on vectors that i hat is the vector 1, 0, 0. j hat is the vector 0, 1, 0. And k hat is the vector 0, 0, 1. So if we take our vector 2, minus 5 and 4, we can split this up as a constant 2 times the vector 1, 0, 0, plus a constant, which is minus 5, times a vector 0, 1, 0, plus a constant 4 times the vector 0, 0, 1, constant times vector plus constant times vector plus constant times vector, or 2 i hat minus 5 j hat plus 4 k hat. That is exactly the form of our linear combination and so we have done what has been asked. We have expressed the vector 2 minus 5, 4 as a linear combination of the vectors i hat, j hat, and k hat. Now this is probably very familiar to you from physics. This is exactly the notation that is most commonly used in physics and so we have as our first takeaway that any vector a, b, c, and r3 can be written as a linear combination of the i, j, and k hat vectors. ABC is A times I hat plus B times J hat plus C times K hat. In particular for what we're about to do next, I want us to notice that this expression is unique. There's only one way of doing that. Okay, so we're going to look at other examples where maybe it will not be unique. And so in the next video, we are going to look at a little bit more of a complicated situation about expressing a vector as a linear combination of other vectors. See you then.